featuring Esmongold and Vestjed. Ladies Wait. and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hate VTubers. So when I thought that there was an opportunity to make a 40-minute video documenting Oh. The misdeeds of fruit. Oh, I was okay. I excited. I was like, yo, a VTuber and a woman? Are you kidding me? My two favorite <laughs> groups of people? Let's go. I was pretty excited. Well, unfortunately for me, I instead have to make a video about how Asmongold and WestJet are recorded. And also, most of Twitter is um, recorded, but I'm getting kind oh, of ahead okay, of Oh, okay, okay. Um, today's video is... Okay, seems like Toma has the right idea. Let's go. As fruit. She's a VTuber with 400,000 followers on Twitch. She's also signed to V Shoujo, which is a talent agency with a bunch of other very recognizable names like Iron Mouse and Project Melody signed. Uh, once again... I hate all these people, but it doesn't really matter. Fruit is a very controversial creator, arguably more controversial than anyone else who's signed to be Shoujo. And there are a lot of reasons for that, including some bad takes she's had in the past, which I, I can't defend all of her bad takes at all. But the biggest reason that she's in controversy right now is for cheating on her husband when he was deployed in the United States military. She disobeyed Allegedly. a direct order from a commanding officer. And for that reason, people are very upset, okay? Now, to understand how this rumor started in the first place, you have to understand that Fruit had a small business with her husband at one point where they would sell patches. They're obviously military themed, which is kind of connected to his job. And at the same time, this was kind of a public facing presence that both of them had. They were both public yes. figures to an extent. So when the cheating rumor started, people became enraged at the idea that she would cheat on her husband while he is deployed. It's an unfortunate reality for you military guys out there. I'm sorry to say. Shout out to the movie Jarhead. If you want any evidence of that, uh, that movie is real life, according to oh. me. Well, Fruit's husband made <laughs> claims on Facebook at one point. That there this! This is a chat. This is exactly the tweet. We'll delete later. I would never resort to using Facebook to talk about my personal life. It's just not what I do. But now the situation I've been put in, I am honestly disgusted that I have to. Desynchronize is making out that I had slept with another man. I did not. He slept with another man while they were married. Now, she addressed this with a long post explaining the context of the she relationship. She did this years ago already. The relationship was very good and nice. As time passed, he started acting like an... In her words, he was giving me shit for messing up on even the smallest of things, constantly telling me how much of a terrible person I was, and Yo, a lot go of other go. things that in her words were emotionally abusive. Now, that is very loaded terminology, but the essence of what she's saying is that he was not very kind to her. He made her depressed. Uh, she started drinking, and eventually, this ended with her messaging another friend of hers in a manner that was inappropriate. Essentially, some kind of sexting, flirtatious stuff going on in the Discord DMs. I said some things to my friend that I... Which was, by the way, happening while she wasn't even together with him. This was happening while he had broken up with her. But that's all that happened. Old German cat number four. My husband was willing to forgive me. He mentioned that he himself had actually cheated on his ex-wife, the woman he married before me, but said that we all make mistakes. And now he's trying to get everyone to hate me. He is starting to play these manipulative games that he plays, the ones I've been trying to get away from this whole time. Now here, Fruit is basically accused her ex-husband of emotional abuse, but she didn't provide any proof of this claim. And as a result, a lot of people saw these posts, rumors spread that she had cheated, and they decided to condemn her right off the bat. And this rumor eventually turned into a Five Guys meme, where it was like one guy, two guy, three guys, four guys, five yeah, guys. Yeah, literally. It's just, it's just rumors. Call me Carson drama from years ago. And this became a it big just contention. just fucking a big rumors. In the VTuber community. A big point of controversy for her. A big thing people would shit on her for. Call her, you know, every name under the books. Or whatever stuff like that. All that good stuff. But Fruit recently decided to succumb to the pressure to try to justify her actions by releasing a 90-page Google document. And... I feel like nobody actually read this document. Yep. I feel like yep. not a single person yep. commenting on it has read this document. Yep. They're all saying, boo-hoo, you cheated on your husband, boo-hoo for you. But if you actually read the document, this guy is a piece of shit. Now, before yep. we get into this, I do want to give a big disclaimer here. Yeah. I don't want to go out of my way to defend everything Fruit has ever done. I don't really like Fruit that much. But my main problem Same is- Same here. I, I don't really care about her that much. My main issue is with all the haters that- it's been spreading. That's my issue. I actually read this document, assuming that everything in it is true, which it may not be. Uh, realistically, it's very hard to criticize Fruit for doing what she did, considering what this guy was doing. My main criticism is that everybody covering this didn't even read the document itself. Yeah. So just take yeah. these allegations yeah. with a grain of yeah. salt before moving forward. Don't go out of your yeah. way to paint Fruit as necessarily an amazing good person because she very well might not be. Fruit is able to show clear examples of her ex-husband attempting to coerce her into performing sex acts that she clearly did not want to engage in or perform with him. And he kept going despite that and trying to manipulate her. And I'm not using yeah. that terminology lightly. I don't like he literally tried to manipulate her. Literally. Making, like false allegations. But assuming these DMs are real in the first place, frankly, there's no context that can make them better. He is a 
He, Piece not, of not shit. Good, not good guy. He's a not good guy. Okay? Yo, Kakor Chvai. Hey. My ex was adamant on trying a form of sexual activity. I constantly said no. Even when he made jokes about it, I was still serious and saying no. He didn't respect my decision. When I went offline after I told him a number of times and expressed my disappointment with the statements, he painted me as the one in the wrong for not being comfortable with him pushing past my boundaries. The next day, I woke up to his yep. messages implying he wanted to commit suicide over me exercising autonomy over my body. But this is a big claim to make, right? This is a huge... This right here, the... Oh... How did I start the background music again? My bad. I hope that didn't go into... Oh, it doesn't go into the what, that's fine. Um... This right here, man. The autonomy over my own body. People are fucking twisting her words saying that's when she said she cheated on him. Which is just not true. That's just not true. People are just taking it out of fucking context and twisting her words. He was like, I'm gonna buy a rope if you don't let me put it in the butt. Right? That's that's a huge claim to make. And that, also the claim that is, that is. He also thinks it's about anal. I think it's about anal. Tom thinks it's about anal. Of, you know, coercion there in we general go. is a big deal. So let's see if she can prove that. In these specific messages, she starts off by saying, I don't want to try it. He says, you're going to try it. Fight The guy also said, next no, wife. Yeah. I will fight you. He, he says, yes, you are. And he cheated on can be his ex. A joke. It's not that serious. It could be kind of a whatever thing. But as we read more, we're going to see just how desperate he is to try to emotionally manipulate her into having this kind of sex with him. In this screenshot, he says, oh, yes, so lucky. I ended up with a woman who won't try something everyone else tries. I've never fucked a woman. Everyone else tries. Word there. Everyone else tries. Hey, Chad, you ever tried anal? <laughs> You ever tried anal sex? <laughs> you don't have to answer. You don't have to answer. But I know not everyone does it. I know not everyone does it, man. Like, what a joke, man. What a fucking joke. Everyone is the key to me. Yeah. Like, bro. I don't know if that's, like, raw or, like, in the... You know, I don't know what the specific sex act he wanted to do was. It's, we're getting a little degen here, but I don't know what it was. But essentially, there's some kind of thing that she won't do that he's very intent on getting her to do. And as a result, he starts off by saying, I ended up with a woman who won't try something everyone else does, acting as though everyone else does this thing. Therefore, he is entitled to her body. He is entitled to doing what he wants with her. She says, oh, now you're trying Big to guilt trip me. That's not fair. Big yikes. He says, yes, absolutely. Straight up admitting it. And she says, I don't want to. And despite these messages where she is clearly unwilling to do this with him and has no interest in doing it he, he keeps pushing again and again and again Death like bro she said no that's where it ends that is where it should end that's consent that is consent denied that is said i said no that's my point end of story he also threatens her. He does, desperately, yes. Desperately trying to convince her to do this with him and even trying to make her feel bad for not doing it. Here she says, you're quite obviously wanting to leave me over saying no to whatever the sex act is, and yet you're still trying to turn this around. He says, but you were up for trying. Now you're just flat out saying no. She says, I've always said no, but you didn't listen. He says, it's a letdown. She says, this conversation's a letdown. In our next screenshot here, she says, here's him further trying to make me feel bad for saying no. So let's see if she can substantiate that claim. He says, good, I'm glad I let you down because now I know where we stand on how far you'd go for me versus Big how far yikes, I would go man. for you. Here she says, redacted. That is, this by the way, pure manipulation and guilt tripping. This textbook guilt tripping. Is going somewhere for you, so I'm not allowed to say what I'm uncomfortable to do. He says, you don't have to, but know that I won't die without trying it at least once. Very weird to say it that way. Very, very weird to say it that way. And she says, God forbid you ever try to blank me without my consent. Essentially, referring to the sex act. Like, you don't really have to read between the lines here. There's not, like, a lot of deep analysis that's needed. You can literally just read the DMs and see that he is desperately, desperately trying to convince her to yep. do this thing with him. Yep. And she won't do it. And as a result, he's trying to make it seem like he is owed this act. He's entitled to whatever he wants to do to her. And on one hand, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, well, why didn't she just leave? And, like, obviously, while that is kind of there true, you can technically leave a relationship. This, this is the one. This is a comment I've gotten in my comments so often too. This is what a lot of people say. Why didn't she just leave? I need, I need you all to understand that it's for a person who is in an ab abusive relationship, be, that, be the abuser male or female, it doesn't matter. It does not matter what the gender roles are in this situation. For a person to be in an abusive relationship, it is... So hard to leave, if not near impossible. It is so hard to leave a situation like this 
if not the impossible, man. A lot of people have also said, where's the proof? Where are the police reports? Bro, it was emotional. Emotional abuse. There wasn't anything physical that we at least know of. There wasn't any physical abuse. And that doesn't make it any fucking less, by the way. Emotional abuse is still fucking bad. Emotional abuse is so still so fucking terrible. Just because there was no physical violence in it doesn't mean it, it's an, it has any less meaning and is any less worse. No. Thanks for the follow, Hoffer. Abuse of, is abuse. Yes. Abuse is abuse. So, try. I dare you try going to, to the police and saying, My husband said uh, this and this, uh, but you didn't hurt me. Try. Try being taken serious by the police. Try. Good luck. Good luck. Good, good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. Relationship. I mean, they were married, so it's not as simple as that. And on Also, also, sorry, I, I just remembered the second thing I wanted to say is that the reason... There's many reasons as to why it's that hard for the people that are being abused to leave a relationship. There's many reasons. Could be that they're scared of the consequence of it. Could be that the abuser would hurt them. It could be that the abuser would hurt themselves, which her ex did in this, uh, did threaten in this sense. He threatened to fucking KMS. You know? He threatened to, like, game end. He threatened to despawn. You know? That's what he threatened her with. One of the things. She was scared what he would do. She was scared of the consequences. It's not that easy. On top of that, why couldn't he just not pressure her into having some kind of sex that she didn't want to have? Why couldn't he just not do that? Like, why couldn't he just not do that in the first place? It makes no sense. He's making it very clear to her. Oh, also he threatened uh, that uh, he would cheat on her. By the way, that their relationship hangs in the balance. And if she says no in these next messages, he says that he's going to cheat on her if she doesn't do there this with him. So everybody who's mad about the fact that Fruit apparently cheated is somehow missing the point that he right here is threatening to cheat on her if she doesn't let him like put it in the butt, which is crazy, which is insane, which is absolutely insane. Here she says, so you're going to F someone else then? He says, maybe at some point. She says, what are you trying to say? He says, maybe it'll be after you die, but it's going to happen. She responds with, you're going to drag this out for as long as possible till you decide to leave me. And he says, I just don't see the point of a relationship that doesn't try things they're uncomfortable with. If it ain't this, it can be something else one day. Once again, he's, he's right. acting as though emotionally abusing. he is entitled Guilt to tripping. get her to do something that she's not comfortable Guilt with. Like, tripping. That's, just not, that's not how like consent and sex is supposed to work like you Guilt know I, I, I hate to bring this out but the 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 women don't owe you shit meme like the <laughs> ethan is online thing i mean it it is literally tr as cringe as it is it's true as cringe as it is it's true like, like it is you know it is by true ethan in a very cringe context but it is true you know thanks for the follow sky spider girl women don't owe you whatever kind of sex you want to have your partner doesn't owe you anything he's literally telling her look I need to do whatever this is, okay? I need it so bad. I need it now. And if you don't give it to me, I'm gonna do it with someone else, or I'm gonna wait until you die. And then I'm gonna do it with someone else. When someone clearly expresses that they don't wanna engage in a sex act with you at all, the good response is to not persist again and again and again. It's just, just leave yep. it alone. If this sex act was such a big deal to him, then he should have been the one to end the relationship and find someone else, instead of yep. trying his best to convince her over and over and over again that like he is entitled to this because they're married. And the conversation only gets even more nuts from here in these next screenshots this is what he says i wasn't aware you were such a baby it's a wonder we managed to have sex she says it's not fair he replies by saying considering how scared you were of nature you're right it isn't society says we're forced to stick with one woman yet she won't support me in something she's not comfortable with i forgot uh, so cringe bro uh, bro it's uh. imagine Imagine. Imagine. I forgot you're going to chicken out of that too because you love not experiencing anything for yourself. Keep in mind what he's angry about here is something that he's not getting to experience for himself that she doesn't want to do and he feels like entitled to it. She says being scared is no joke. He says it isn't, but at some point you need to have courage. She says I'm ready <laughs> right. on my terms. And here he yep. responds with if you're not going to die, what are you scared of? On your terms, nothing will ever happen. Like, yeah. He said if you're not going to die from 
the sex act. Like, as if the only thing that could scare a person is death. As if that's the only thing that's scary, man, to a person. Yikes. Typically, um, people don't die from sex or sexual assault, but that, that doesn't mean that they shouldn't be scared of it. That doesn't mean they should just cave to whatever anyone else wants them to do. Like, just imagine this conversation taking place in a room where this guy's like, you're not going to die from it. What's the worst that could happen? And she's saying, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And he's like, well, come on. Don't be a chicken. Don't be a prude. Don't be a pussy. Like... This guy is a freak. This guy is an- Literally. This guy is so fucking awful. And this is what the- What people just don't understand. They refuse to fucking read the receipts. They refuse to read the receipts because they already had written fruit off as- Oh, she cheated on him with five men while he was deployed. It, that just didn't happen. That just didn't happen. That's rumors that spread like wildfire. Those were rumors that spread like wildfires. Please bring out the, the receipts that she did. Please. The first I heard yesterday even, the first I heard yesterday in my comments from someone, that, that was wild to me. Someone said she cheated on her ex and then she cheated on the guy that she cheated on with. That was a first. Like, okay, man. I asked source, no reply. No reply. Literally, a lot of people that were just saying, oh, but she did this. A lot of them I just replied to, source? Sources? Receipts? Yeah? Yeah? Source? No source. Absolute freak. And all you have to do to tell that is to read the actual document itself, because he is insane. Here he says, I would give you shit, but that's about it. She says, right. You wouldn't say no, eh? He says, we're not equals like I assume we were. I put my money where my mouth is. And she says, but making me feel He's like I'm looking for the source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah, yeah. Stressed out about for the sake of the relationship. That's okay to you. And apparently that was okay to him because he continued trying to pressure her to do something she didn't want to do. Here she says, you're fucked up. True. Mm -hmm. Here he kind of mistypes, but essentially what he's trying to say is like, telling you <laughs> yes. me because you cannot provide something I want. What do you uh, here he's turning the words around on her, man. Oh my he's god. Is, you know, you can't provide something I want, so I have to leave you otherwise. I have to get it elsewhere, so you better give it to me. She said- I mean, at this point, why didn't he just fucking leave, man? I just- I don't understand the guy. If she was such a horrible person to him, if he really needed this, why didn't he just leave? Because, I'll tell you what, chat. Uh, from what I've read in the fucking screenshots and caps from him, the, like, I, I have a picture of him in my head that he has a very, very low, low key, if not high key, Christian way of looking at things. That's what it looks like to me. That he has a very Christian view. A very fucking old school look at view. That's what he looks like to me. He's like, society only allows us to be with one woman. Society only says we should be with one woman. Oh, the gay are bad. That's literally what he says. He, he is openly homophobic in here. But Tom is probably still getting to that. As telling me you're going to cheat on me unless I do it. He's I also feel like... You know, the most openly crazy homophobic people like this, like Tom will show you the receipts most likely still. Uh, most of the times they're closeted. Most of the times they're closeted. And that's crazy to me. Like most of the people that lash out the most in those scenarios, they're closeted. Because they are still like, uh, they still have this like mo uh, view in their head that it's a sin to be gay and uh, society will look down on you if you're gay. That kind of uh, look, you know? Like, I'm not saying that he is, I'm saying that he might. And that that does happen. I don't know if I would go that far. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that he is. I say, I say he might be. Might be. Might not be. But it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Says, that's fucked. She says, that's exactly what you just did to me. Quit pinning this around. You look like an absolute dickhole and you do it too. And in this next message, he seemingly admits to uh, pressuring her by- Not everyone like that is low-key gay or bi. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that that's, uh, I'm like not trying to say that it's bad to be gay either. And I'm not saying that- Sorry if like- what I said came out in a wrong way. I'm saying that it just happens that a lot of the people that still have like a Christian view in their head, 
that some people that okay no the other way around that some people that are closeted gay that do not know uh that they are gay that haven't figured that quite out yet that they still uh, live with a christian view and in the christianity uh, it's a sin to be gay so they feel like it's uh, there's something wrong with them and they haven't figured that out you know that's what i mean I'm religious and yet I have an open mind on a lot of things. Everyone has their stories and opinions, whether it's like it or not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude probably watches South Park and thinks it's based on real life. South Park is based, though. I don't know what you mean about South Park. No, South Park is based. I'm a bit gauge. I think I'm bi. That's fine. That's fine if you think so referring to this as peer pressure, saying, you know what scares me? Being poor. Yet, I don't mind being 2,000 in the hole, because I would do it for you. And what he's referring to Whoa. here is the fact that he apparently spent $2,000 to travel to see her. And because he spent that money, he feels entitled to sex with her. In this specific form of sex, <laughs> which she doesn't want to do. Here she says, easy for you. He says, call it peer pressure, call it what you want, but you cannot provide. Here he says, you're being selfish. She says, so now you're throwing everything in here that's completely irrelevant? Here he says, because if you won't give it up, you'll leave me. She says, I'm not talking to you, I'm closing Facebook and getting on with my work, going to bed. You've upset me. And these next messages he starts to bring up uh side actually you know buying a rope essentially threatening to end himself if if he doesn't get what he wants <sighs> he says, i really may as well be dead what a pointless existence i'll be living with you if you're afraid to go out of your comfort zone you'd rather this makes me so angry also also by the way chat most of the times people that are actually um thinking about committing to this Facebook users? Yeah, because it's a couple years old at this point. That's why Facebook. Um, most people that actually think about committing that will not talk about it. They will most likely just do it. You know? So, yeah. People who would do this just do it. Exactly. So, yeah, this is just textbook guilt tripping. And manip emotional manipulating and yeah. Have a friend that only told me about it and helped him get therapy. The people that do actually talk about it and that actually do want to commit to it, they are still in a uh, still aware that they are aware that they have a problem and are on a path that where you are able to still help them. I only think. The uh, only thing they would talk about is saying bye to the cl closest person they know. Then just do it. Yeah! Being so Christian yet doesn't realize what he's doing is like, you know, religion or one-way ticket to hell. I'm not 100% sure if he's Christian. I'm not 100% of it. That's my interpretation of him. The way he's acting see me dead or effing another woman before you do anything for me ever since this morning where you ultimately wanted to leave me to prove how serious you are i've been contemplating slide again because at the end of the day no matter how normal my life appears to be it will always come crashing down and burning around me nothing will remain of what i had hope in nothing i care about survives the test of time bro he's acting bro he's talking about this as if a, a world fucking disaster just happened meanwhile she's just saying no to a sex act he's acting like the world came crushing down on him like his best friend fucking passed his dog disappeared his children got kidnapped his wife abducted like bro like chill so if i don't stick around i won't be on this earth like, he's literally in these messages plainly saying, Hey, look, you know, there's this sex act. I know you don't want to do it, but um, if you don't do it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end my life. So you have to do it. My life hangs in the balance of you doing this, of you opening up your butthole for me. Like, <laughs> this guy is a freak. This guy is a fucking freak. All of these messages are the definition of entitlement. He feels entitled to sex from this girl in whatever way he wants because they are married and in a relationship. This continues on with him threatening to leave her if she doesn't cave to his demands. He admits to pressuring her. He says that he's going to end his life if she doesn't do it. And you can go Whoa. read this whole document for yourself with the same exact sources I just saw. I'm not making any of this up. I'm not taking it out of yeah. context. You can this read is the in the doc. I read the doc too. Messages right now on the, this on, is on, in the on doc. The it's there. On Twitter for free. Okay? It's right there. So after I read this, I was like, wow, this guy actually sucks. He was a piece of shit to her frankly yep. i don't really feel bad for him getting cheated on should you cheat in a relationship no obviously not i don't no. particularly care if she does no you should like cheating is the worst 
I don't feel bad that he got cheated on. Cheating fucking sucks, but I don't feel bad for him. If he got cheated on, which, by the way, still isn't actually proven that she did. Just saying, because... Here's the thing, they were married, but he left her. He said, I'm done with you, I'm breaking up. They were separated. And she did literally masturbate in a text call. Not call, sorry, in a text chat. She masturbated and texted someone about it and said she thought about the other person and that other person went with those texts to the ex-husband and showed the ex-husband Yo, your wife is cheating on you! But they were separated! It was sexting, yes! Which wasn't even that... It wasn't even... Huge sexting. It wasn't even. The, this, the Discord screenshot literally was like Oh, I just did that and I was thinking about you. Oh, I was also doing that and I was also thinking about you. That, that's what they consist of. That's literally what they consist of. They were just a bit freaky, yes. <laughs> I also kept saying she's ugly multiple times. Yeah, like, um, fucking destroying her self-esteem. That's also one tactic of the fucking uh, abuses, by the way. Like, destroying their self-esteem, fucking cornering them into a corner, cutting off uh, uh, their victims' other personal contacts so they have no one to- nowhere to run to, and making the- a victim belief that no one would take them. Does cheat on him, whatever the case is, because like, it's just not my problem. But from these messages, I think I can 1000% justify her cheating on this guy with five to 1000 guys, given the fact that he was pressuring her into sex and trying to manipulate her by threatening side. And when I was reading this, I was like, wow, so I guess everybody should come away with the same conclusion as me, right? But um, right? no, it seems like actually, right? basically nobody actually read this. Yeah, or nobody read it. Read it is fucking retarded. And people actually, there were apparently a dozen. This or so take from Esmond. Read all ninety. This take from Esmond. Like I saw this clip from Esmond before I read the document, but I instantly knew that this take from Esmond was so stupid. Like he did take down the video. He did take down the clip. Like, Esmond did take down the clip. Because he was just spreading misinformation. Ugh. Pages and after they looked into it, they found out that in fact she was the one that had cheated on her husband while he was on deployment. He is just going with the narrative that uh, Twitter comments is going with. He actually doesn't know too much about this. So if you look at the engagements here, this was disappointing these, to see from us. I'd be pretty mad too if my wife fucked five different men instead of me. She put out a twit longer, begging for attention and looking for, uh, <laughs> looking for, uh, you know, approval for cheating. Esmond one hundred percent didn't read it. Cheating on her fucking husband. It's crazy. So anyway, I know how valuable time is. And I by the way, he just scrolled all the way to the bottom. He didn't read it. He just scrolled to the bottom. I won't take up too much of you. Also, the 90 pages are just as long as they are because one screenshot takes up one side, basically. One page. Yours. You should have had that at the start rather than the end. Wow. That is it's where you see Esmond taking an L. Yeah. Yeah. This, this had me disappointed in him. Let's, this did have me disappointed at Some home. stunning research there, Asmund Gold, you know? Some people read the 90 pages and figured out she cheated on him while he was on deployment. Well, surely he's gonna cite his sources here, right? Like, he's gonna have some good justification for this, he's gonna have proof that- Surely the editor will add CONTEXT! It wasn't. It happened on deployment, he's gonna Not have proof time. of, you know, this five guys claim, or at the very least, he's gonna, like, look into the document and, you know, try to figure out what's going on and, like, I mean, there's this whole 90-page document that's been released. Surely, if he's reporting on this, he feels he has an obligation to delve into the drama and understand what's happening at the very right? least before he passes judgment. Usually he does. does. Usually he does. I'm very surprised that he just glanced over this. This is a very expensive L, morally, dude, because this is a uh, life-affecting shit. Yeah, it is. Everyone makes mistakes. He made a big mistake. Yeah. Yeah, or yeah. So people that yeah. actually read all 90 pages. For context, Asmund Gold made this clip private. 
probably because in hindsight he realized that he sounded like a retard. Oh, <coughs> no, apparently not. So to Asmongold, listen, I like some of your takes, okay? I don't think you're dumb all the time, but clearly this time you were. So frankly, Cl my takeaway from this Huge is that L. before you pass judgment on a situation like this and post a video to YouTube that gets millions of views, you should actually read about it. You should actually yeah. do the bare minimum yep. fuck all research for it yep. instead of relying on random meme tweets for research. Or if you're not going to do that, then go back to eating cockroaches or something. He's on my belly. Look at him. Right no! Right no! But this is not the only person who has had a take like this, okay? A fellow commentary channel who I like, who I've interacted in a friendly Best way with, Jet. Uh, I don't West know this Jet, person. has also been on this cockroach eating diet. And today, we get to react to this epic video, guys. So this VTuber actually cheated on her husband while he was on military deployment by that. Not. Not. Not the music, not the, not the eagle sound, not the army dude. I add, and then wrote out a 48 page paper on why he was the bad guy. I'm not making it up. He is the bad guy. He, he is, the bad, is guy. the bad guy. If you read the he document, is. he is the bad guy. Like, <laughs> unquestioningly, he, he is, is the, the bad, bad guy. guy. She, she he is, is not the bad guy. Like, what do you guys think is- She had some shit things she did in the past too. Okay. The husband still is the abuser. That doesn't excuse him. Of course, genuine question. Cheating on someone or trying to pressure them into having sex that they don't want to have? I would say the pressuring. I don't think that's a hot take. I would say it's probably the pressuring. I would say that is... <laughs> and people are ignoring that the cheating wasn't actually cheating. That's what people are actually ignoring, man. Undoubtedly worse. <laughs> Undoubtedly worse. Really Honest take, but military is kindergarten for adult men. At least Gobo see it that way. Oh my god, Gobo. Oh my god, Gobo. She's provided her side proof infinitely more than the husband's side. Yeah, the husband literally made a Facebook post saying, um, we are no longer working together because she cheated on me. End of story. Like I'm losing my mind. Internet's reaction was wild. Stay tuned. And you betcha. She starts off with the whole shaboying, includes mentions of domestic violence, and calls it an abusive relationship. Oh, and there's actually 90 pages, including screenshots and everything, so I lied to you. Blue Mark is the guy, and Loki, he was cooking. Dumbass, I don't want a useless wife. Oh. Bro. Why get married to a VTuber then, bro? I'm gonna make an assumption here that- like, <laughs> Bro! Articles, if you watch VTuber- Please tell me he's joking, I know, right? You're mentally ill, chronically online, or girls, but if you watch VTuber then, bro. I'm gonna make an assumption here that might tickle a lot of your pickles, but if you watch VTubers, you are either mentally ill, chronically online, or gooning. True. That is true, okay? Well, Chad, which one are you? <laughs> Which one are you, Chad? <laughs> Bro, I fit in all three. Hey, yo! <laughs> one point to WestJet. True fact stated. I completely agree with that point. Now, let's see if he's able to analyze the factual base. One and a few. Stop gooning. Hey, there's me. There's me in the video, okay? Hey. Hey! Maybe he's going to have a good take. Okay, he's taking inspiration from me personally. All right. Hey, 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 yo. He's gonna do his proper research, hey, all right? Hey, he's he's hey, a yo. big fan of me. He loves me. He's gonna do the right thing. What is right, up, Sigma? Right, Sigma right, right. WestJet, six foot five, Venezuelan trillionaire here, and today we're talking about cheating drama. Oh, and literally, 0% of you are subscribed. I hate the tone of his voice. I hate the tone of his voice, chat. Like, uh, the tone of his voice for this particular video is like, he... Oh boy. You subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Put your pitchforks away. I'm gonna say something controversial. Cheating is bad. I cheated. <laughs> okay, he put cheating is good and says cheating is bad. Okay, okay, okay. Put your pitchforks away. I'm gonna say something controversial. Cheating is bad. I cheated on my husband who was on military deployment. Now let me tell you how I'm actually the victim. Okay, another case of taking Twitter as their source. Twitter comments. Source? Twitter comments. Oh, gets caught cheating. He was abusing me. He literally was. He literally, he literally was. That, that is literally the argument. He was doing that. He was 
pressuring her into having sex that she didn't want to have. He was saying he would kill himself. He was saying he would kill himself if he couldn't put it in the butt. Did you people even did you people even read this? Is this just like a I game know, right? Farming? Is this just clout farming? Is that it? Did yes. Most people are just fucking cloud farming this. Most people are just cloud farming. Did you read this document? Westjet, did you read it? You are what's wrong with the world. Surprise He's reading the so, comments. There was a lot of people actually defending her behavior too, and uh, shocker to nobody, they were also VTubers. Yeah, it, her behavior actually can be- Whoa, crazy, her friends are supporting her? What? That's crazy. You defended if you no actually way. read the document. I'm not a VTuber, okay? I hate all VTubers. I'm defending her behavior. I'm defending it right now. I'm I a do not care if she cheated on a guy who tried to force her to have sex. And I looked a little bit deeper in it, and her cheating wasn't actually cheating. Sex. Sorry. I'm so proud of you. You're one of the strongest and kindest people I know. Oh, your husband who's there in Afghanistan fighting for the country? Oh. Where's the proof that he actually was in Afghanistan, man? There was actually no proof. Loser. Like, shut the fuck up. He, he is actually a loser, though. That guy is, is actually a loser. That guy is, like, what? What is, what, what is with this weird, this weird narrative people are going with where, like, if you've ever served in the armed forces, you're, like, some great person who can never... Yeah, like... Most people are running with the fucking thing. He was in the military, so he is godsend. The military has bad actors, too. Humanity has bad actors all over the place. Just because you're in the army doesn't mean you're a fucking saint. Like, sorry to tell you, people. Never be shit on ever. Like, I have respect for the military. I have friends who, you know, have served, are serving. I think it's a good thing. But like, are we acting like these people are like the right to worship the military? Mm, I see. Like gods who are infallible, and it's like just because he's on deployment, he hasn't done anything bad. If you just read the document, you can see what he did. The funny thing is, I, I drink water. Shut up. Her and she's releasing this Unabomber-sized manifesto after. After he manipulated me into feeling I can't live without him, he broke up with me every time. That is. You cheated on him. Why do you just keep saying that? Are people just gonna keep saying you cheated on him? You cheated on him. Are you retarded? What is wrong with you? Do you I'm, have a? Br I'm I'm right there with him. I'm right there with Tom. 100% there with Tom. Westjet, did you read the document? Did you just skim it? Are you, this is your job. This is what you get paid to do. Like, did you not read it? And it gets worse. She calls cheating exercising autonomy over her. There's no proof that that's true. There does. That's exactly what I said. People are twisting her words. Her body. No, she did not. No, she did not. People fucking, are twisting are you, her okay, fucking I words. I have to pull up the document at this point in time, okay? This is like... People are twisting her words. Insane. This is actually fucking nuts. So the context of her saying that was not that cheating is her exercising autonomy over her body. The context nope. of it is that he was trying to pressure her into having sex with him in a way yep. that she didn't want to have it. Here she says, when I went offline after telling him a number of times and expressed my disappointment with his statements, he still painted me as the one in the wrong for yep. not being comfortable with him pushing past my boundaries. The next day, I wake up to his messages implying he wanted to commit suicide over me exercising autonomy over my body. The verbiage is right there. And if you actually it's right there. see the screenshots themselves of it's what right he there, said, man. that is... But people are taking shit out of fucking context. It's pissing me off. Literally what he said. You can't make it up. You did make it up. That's literally what you did. You made it up, WestJet. You made it up. What is wrong with you? The next day, I wake up to his messages implying he wanted to commit Sudoku over me exercising autonomy over my body. Yo, that's some destiny Yeah. What the? Like, are we just what gonna the? meme here? Are we gonna, like, substantively... Yeah, yeah, the... But Jed is not taking this serious at all. Respond. When, when she says autonomy over my body, what she's talking about is that he was trying to pressure her into having sex, and she didn't want to do it. That is the auto that is the definition of autonomy over your body. It's not, I wanted to cheat on him and he wouldn't let me do it. That's not even what it is. That's literally not even what it is. Like, did you even, Westjet, yeah, did you even read it? Anyway, of course not. Some memes, woman after cheating, my husband was- Wait, that's it? That's your analysis of this document? Yep. That's your... Okay, there's got to be more. Come on. I'll watch the rest of this there's video. There's not more. Purposes, Probably but... not. Like, are you... Do you have a brain? Abusive or actually, I didn't want to do it. I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh, it won't happen again. And, you know, give it to Twitter to turn this issue of cheating, which we should all unanimously agree on, into like a full-blown gender war. It doesn't matter what gender you are. You could be an octopus, for Christ's sake. Getting ooh. cheated on sucks. <laughs> Where's Twitter making this into a gender war? Wait, where's the gender war coming in, in now? What? It's a universal experience. Just ask my wife. So anyway, I know- He's just gonna play the Asmongold video of Asmongold Yikes. not even understand-
Asmongold is the source. Asmongold who had no sources is the source. I love Danny, it. What's going on? Is is that is that what we're gonna do? That's I that's love what it. We're doing? Really? No way. How valuable time is, and I won't take up too. Much. Octopus have three brains. Wait, they do? What the hell? Much of yours. You should have had that at the start rather than the end. I love or hate Asmongold. He's cooking because not he's cooking. He's cooking. Ninety pages, bro. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Then why are you reporting on it? Why are you reporting? Like, he's literally saying he didn't read it right now. Literally right now he's saying he didn't read it. He maybe glanced over a handful of screen caps from it. Bro! Yeah, apparently not even you do. Autom autonomy over my body is such a weird phrase though. It feels like such a clinical language and feels like it disconnected from her feelings. Why? Why? What would, you ma what would make you say that? I don't think so. It takes 20 minutes max to read it. I'm a slow reader. I took 30 to 40 minutes. And I'm a slow reader. So yes, if you're a quick reader, 20 minutes. Too big of a word? It's, it's a document that she probably worked on for months. She probably worked on this document for months. Let her phrase things in a good way. Let her! No issue here. No fucking issue. To do your fucking job, WestJet. It's your job to report on this stuff. Like, you have chosen this as your job of choice. And for some reason, you skipped over the part. Which is right at the beginning of the document, by the way. It's not, like, buried in it. It's right there. Where he is trying to convince her to have sex he doesn't want to have. Do you have a- do you actually have a brain? Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> Holy shit. There were apparently a dozen or so people that actually read all 90 pages, and after they looked into it, they found out that in- No! They did not find out after they looked into it. They did not find out after they looked into it. They ran with the narrative before that anyway. In fact, she was the one that had cheated on her husband. Oh, and it gets worse. Trust me. And I'd be pretty mad too if my wife f***ed five different men She did not. Me. Yeah, you heard that right. F***ed five guys. No burgers, no fries. By the way, WestJet. If he's a, a fucking commentary channel and is like reporting on things like it, like Tom says. That's ridiculous. He's making this claim. He probably gets mad about false allegations. There's no proof for the idea that she cheated on him with five different guys. There's yep. literally none. none. What Wesley was doing is he none. read Twitter and he was just like, oh, Twitter must be right. He didn't even pay attention. Wake up. <laughs> Stop hitting the fentanyl. In Fortnite terms, she was knocked five times before. <laughs> in Fortnite terms. Okay, man. Before the storm came in. All right. I'm sorry. This video is fucking retarded. Jesus Christ. I think I've made it pretty clear now that the people. Individuals are responsible for the actions. Yes. True. No one made you do anything. No one made you do anything. She cheated on her, so of course he abused her? What? You made me do this. By the way, I, I have a personal fucking agenda with this kind of shit, man. I have experienced abuse firsthand and secondhand, man. I lived through that fucking garbage. I fucking lived through this bullshit. I've seen my stepfather be fucking abusive to my mother. Like... My stepfather, okay? My stepfather would rip apart $50 bills. Sorry, euro. 50 euro bills. 100 euro bills. Because he got anger issues and tell my mom, you made me rip apart the money. You made me rip apart the money. He fucking ripped it apart, would uh, yell at the top of his lungs and then be like, you made me do this! Look what you made me do! Like... You can't, you cannot argue with abusive people. There's no arguing with abusive people. People who are like reporting on this didn't even read the document. It took me like probably all of 20 or 30 minutes to read through the entire thing and clearly see that he was trying to pressure her into having sex and she didn't want to do it and he continued doing it and he threatened suicide over it. That is the definition of manipulation. That is the definition of being a piece of shit. Frankly, yep. I like West Jess videos, but I never had like a lot of respect for his research in the first place. And this only once again confirms that to me because he is literally yeah, it just- It seems like his research is really, <laughs> literally just, his source is Twitter comments. Not substantiating any claim that he makes. And Asmund Gold as well is just like, 
Apparently, twelve people read through it. Wow! Shouldn't you be one of the one of those people? Shouldn't you be number thirteen? Yeah. Isn't this your job? If you're gonna, yep. if you're if you're gonna make a claim about someone, which is like potentially career ending, people are trying to like end Fruit's career over this. Shouldn't you be the one that's like looking into this shit? Like, I hate to be soy about it, but this is such a clear, clear cut and dry example of like, I don't really feel bad for this guy getting cheated on because he tried to pressure into having sex when she didn't want to. I don't feel bad for him at all. In fact, I wish I don't die again just for retribution. I wouldn't go that far, man. I wouldn't go that far. I, w I really wouldn't. I don't think anyone deserves to be cheated on. I don't think anyone deserves to be cheated on. But I also don't feel bad for the guy. If, in fact, she did actually cheat, which, to my knowledge, she actually didn't. And to the worst, it would be emotional cheating. To the worst. Let's freaking go. Woo, Turkey Thomas freaking epic. Woo, woo! That's what we've been waiting for! Yeah! Because that would have been funny. Now, I think it's also worth noting here that it's kind of too early in these allegations to say if this guy is like 1000% guilty of this. I mean, all I wouldn't say it's too early. This has been the narrative for years. She had accused him of being abusive for a handful of years now. Like when this first shit came up. But people went with the narrative no, you cheated on him. You cheated on him with two guys. You cheated on him with five guys. He was deployed in the military while you cheated on him. People just... It just spread like wildfire. Emotional cheating is still wrong, but doesn't justify abuse. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But I wouldn't even say she emotionally cheated. Like, I wouldn't even say she emotionally cheated from the context that I have. Where they were separated. When... She fucking jerked off. Not even in the same room with someone else. Where she sexed it, I guess, with someone else. Was saying if, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, not disagreeing or anything. Not disagreeing. Just like adding commentary. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what's going on. That's fine. Don't Ultimately, worry about it. There are a lot of really damning screenshots, but you know, maybe Fruit is lying. Maybe there is some greater context here we don't understand. I think it's hard to imagine that right now, but that could be the case. But my bigger problem with this is the coverage around the situation where it's very, very yes, that's my that problem too. And West Jet that is my problem too. This document at all, and yet decided this is why I decided in the end to upload my video before. This is also why I decided to upload my video before, because there's so much shit coverage of this topic. To talk about it out of their ass. At the very least, if they're going to make claims about it, I think they have an obligation to actually read the document before they publicly report yeah. on it. In the case of WestJet, to hundreds of thousands of people. And in the case of Asmongold, to literally millions of people who are frothing at the fucking yeah. mouth to see this girl yeah. go down. Yeah, it could very yeah. yeah, because Asmongold's viewer base, base a huge majority of Esmond's viewer base is insults. It just is true. Like, you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. I watch Esmond Gold. I'm not saying everyone is an insult that watches them, but there's a lot of insults in there. He said it himself. He has insults watching him. It will be the case that in the future, this guy will come out with a response. Maybe she'll be proven to have done the same exact thing to him. Maybe there will be other contexts we don't understand. That is possible. But I feel like if you're going to cover this stuff, you have to do it relatively impartially rather than just like say, oh, she cheated on him. That's it. End of story. Like, that's clearly not the end of the story here. There's it really isn't. Here. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's yep, about yep, it. Yep, Bye. Yep. Yep. Good coverage by Tom. Good coverage by Tom. Uh, yeah, I read that. This was a bit of a smug Alana L because she mentioned it and only skimmed it and chat was wilding against fruit. I didn't even see her uh, covering it at all. I don't think she uploaded anything about it either. I'm not 100% uh, sure. Uh, but yeah. I don't, I don't like covering stuff I don't know too much about. I don't like covering stuff I don't know mu too much about. Uh, for that exact reason, man. Like... I'm not saying I never did that, and I am never going to do it. I might be fucking oblivious in some things, but I would never intentionally cover something that I barely know anything about and try to spread hate for it. Guy accused, trust me, bro, her counters with receipts. Yeah, literal receipts were there, man. He literally just said she did this. He never provided proof. 
Hello, all I arrived. Hi. Well, that will be all. That will be all, I guess.